Well, look what the cat dragged in. We got the Zenith service manual and the Sam's photo fact. All right, ran into a bit of an issue with the uh, Zenith here. Got the manuals in, went to go work on it and powered it up. Had high voltage for, oh, a split second and it died. Didn't trip the breaker, but it killed the high voltage. So I enlisted some uh, ideas. I checked, got out the higher voltage probe. There was nothing there. Uh, going through a list, and one of them was clean these connections. The, you know, I had the boards out, so um, cleaning them up and cleaning the pots and controls. Um, and then, now I thought I'd knock the easy stuff out, and then it's on to what to do next here. But let's see what happens. Well, didn't hear high voltage come up. Didn't hear it. Don't feel it. So, looks like I gotta switch gears from fixing color to actually getting a set to actually produce a picture again. Yeah, I was hoping that. Was that smoke? I swear I see smoke over here. I swear it's all smoke. You know what we do then. Yeah, smoke's rolling right here. I see smoke rolling on this board. Oh, look at that smoky, smoky smokerson. Is it just burning off the stuff I put on here? Ooh, ooh, that is hot. Well, that resistor right there is burning up. Well. They got somewhere, I guess, to start looking. Now, well, got her going again. Let's see if you guys can hear the high voltage. is kind of like, sounds like static electricity. I think it was just pure luck that I got her going. The uh, horizontal board here, I pulled it out and I tested capacitors, resistors, transistors. I replaced a couple just for fun. There weren't anything wrong with them. Reflowed the whole board. Pulled out the main transistor here. It was crusty. It cleaned up the connections, reseated it. It tested fine. So I wasn't expecting to actually have it working again. But here we are. So now I can start working on that color. Because uh, I ain't got none of that. Back to square one. I'm gonna pull that chroma board off. And I'm gonna pull that chroma board off and we'll, this is annoying me. We'll start working on that. Let's see if I get as lucky. Maybe he just needs reflowed. But I'll check components. Transistor. I don't think there's any transistors on that actually. There's ICs though. You know what? I'll get some voltage measurements now that this thing's working right. The resistors, capacitors, and such have checked out fine. The only thing that's not checking out is um, getting voltages in but not out on this IC chip. I looked up this part number here for this IC and it's 21-69 and you know what I got at 2169 I can't believe I actually have the computer chip for this television 
But I'm going to, I guess, try to desolder that chip and put that in there. Don't know if I'll be successful. It's acting a little different now, but it still ain't locking in or working correctly. So I don't know if something outside of that chroma board is maybe bad or maybe there's something on that board I missed or can't find or see. I'm really not sure. I'm going to get a chroma board to pop in here and see what happens. Well, that's going to wrap up part two of the Zenith 1975 Zenith color solid state console chroma color two. Part three will be the chroma board. And when that comes in, see how that does or what happens.